Previously, we saw the various system that and how this system that tries to reduce the variation between different platforms. By the time you are done here, you will install three compilers mostly MSVC for Windows user, GCC and CLAN or CLAN. And if you are on a Mac OS, you can install Xcode. Also feel free to install the compiler of your choice because I don't know which platform you are writing your code or which platform you want to target. Okay, it could be an embedded system or maybe a specific hardware. In that case, it will be advisable to install compilers from the platform vendor. Let's say a specific hardware from Intel, AMD or NVIDIA. This compiler will be more specific and target a particular hardware. As a result, they provide more optimization of your code on that platform. So without further ado, let's get started by opening our favorite web browser. On your favorite search engine, you should type Visual Studio Download. It is available to download the latest uh, version. MSVC is a Microsoft compiler, okay, and it comes with an IDE. This IDE is free for community user, but it requires you to create an account. On the community version, you have a free download. Okay? For professional, you have a free trial. After 30 days, I think you have to pay. And also for enterprise. Okay. Now, I already have a um, Visual Studio already downloaded my computer. Okay. So if you're new, you just click on the download button. It's going to download the binary, which is an ESE file. You just hit on the install, and it's going to walk you through the installation with it. So after installing your Visual Studio, you have to open the app. In my case, I'm going to select modify, but in your case, you'll see an install button because I have already installed um, the compiler already here. I will take modify, so I'll show you what you need to install. On this window, you are going to select desktop with C++. You are going to select mobile. This one is optional if you will write a mobile app. But the most important thing you select here is a desktop for Windows. You can also select .NET if you are dealing with C Sharp. You also have other um, packages here like Node.js, Azure Development. You can also select Python because um, I also do Python development, right? Now, when you select Windows, for example, you select Windows here, you have a menu here. In this menu, you can install the packages that you need. For example, you need MSVC V14. This is the version 14. If you work on Linux, you, you can also select um, some packages here. Also, you can select um, IntelliCode for intelligent code, right? Which your ID is going to help you to assist you during your coding. You can also come here on the individual component and you can select additional packages. But the most important package which we need in this course, okay, if you are on uh, Windows, we come under compiler build tools, we select this. C++ um, 2019 okay we can also select CMIC because we are going to select CMIC you can also choose um, C++ C++ okay if you want let me select this one if you need additional tool you can still come back on this menu and select um, the additional tools you want you can also select here you can see embedded and IoT development so if you are doing embedded development, you can select it here to um, download the packages for this platform. At the end, if that is it, it's going to show the total speed required and uh, you can click um, install while downloading or you can um, select the modify. So this process is going to take a while. After this, we are going to run a hello world program to see if everything um, has been set up for us. If you're on Windows, go here all up here right visual studio 2019 okay so you take create a new project now if you're a beginner you might you might be wondering why you don't see anything like c okay um i don't know why microsoft won't put a separate tab here to select c programming right if you check here you won't see c programming you see c plus plus c sharp mail or maybe um it's just because c plus is just like a super set of c you can select your platform here and you can select um, the type of project you want, so like if you're cloud, um, cloud and so on. In our case, yes, and this is just a hello world. We we'll take C++ all platform and um, all project type, okay? Then we we'll select an empty project. Here, we are going to select, we are going to write our project name. Yeah, let's just write hello world. Where I always put my project is usually under C. I always come here, my C drive. I always avoid space. So I can create a new folder under C and I call it dev. So this will be the folder in which all our development will be in. I'm in our drive C. Now the solution name, let us just leave the solution name as, as our project name. We click on create. We have our project, our hello world project, right? This is the solution. Now, in everything you see here, these are called filters, okay? This is actually um, what you see 
in the drive if you open visual studio as a you will see stuff like filter so we are going to click here to show all files here and then from here we right click on our hello world project then we click add new item so you click on the c++ file right now it's going to give you source the c now this is where you make your file become a c so here you just write hello world dot c then you click add and now we are going to just write our hello world program or std input uh, yeah. okay one thing you will see here is you see our solution configuration and you see our solution platform so in debugging it usually adds um, some flags in which um, it adds extra code which helps you in debugging your program but if you want a release you can select here you can click a release and you can change your platform to be 64 for 64 bits and then we click start it is building our project okay um, i have pvs studio extension in my pc that's why my um, id is very slow i think i need to distribute it on the console we have our hello world program okay i think we have um, a pretty window now so here it says welcome to our c program they say press any key to continue now um i added an extra line here i am um, system the post it just simply means you should post i am um, our console if you go in our file explorer you will see dev okay and then in our development folder you see hello world now you see x64 then you will see release then you will see the binary of our hello world program let us run it and see okay you see welcome to c program that's great let us install gcc and sila you can open your favorite search engine again you can write mcs2 okay and you open the first link this is mcs2 mcs2 is a collection of tools and libraries providing you with easy to use environment for building installing and running native windows application i think you can see this right up here so that is what mcs2 right it's just um, a collection of tools and libraries that can easily that easily helps you to build um application on windows so you are going to download the binary I already have it here you click here on uh, this is going to install the exe file after that you run the exe file this is the window is very easy to use you have to be very careful here right you should avoid spacing on your folder name okay for example if you check my system i have c then i'm um, under you see mcs2 so you should avoid spacing enter your desired installation folder okay this is an ascii character right and then on ntfs volume they say no accent no spaces now so you have to avoid spacing right okay, and then you click the next you can run your application after running your application right it's going to open so you should not close that window when it opens when it opens you should um, run this command this command is just to update your packet database after running this um, command you can go to your windows start menu then you can search for mcs2 then mcs your windows start menu you can search for mcs2 okay this is mcs2 and this is it so you open this application you run this command pacman with a backslash su mcs2 is using pacman pacman is a package manager from um from arch linux so you run this command you can take here so all the link okay will be in the description of this video where you can easily download all of this we are all set in using our mcs2 i don't really know if this is how you pronounce it but well that's how i pronounce it now we have to install our package right um, like i said previously um mc2 is using pacman pacman is from ashley's no right i have um, a page here if you want to know more about how to use pacman if you want to install a package using pacman for example you want to install the gcc compiler right you search and um, you write pacman then big s um, backslash s and then write a gcc one thing you can do is let me take no you can write pacman in the backslash big s and small s then you can write gcc what this command really do is um is search in your package if you have gcc already installed this is gcc from different um repository pacman have six repository in which um it gets a package right you have the main gw32 you have um the main gw64 you have um, the ucr this is from, from windows and, and then you have i think clang you okay you have um mcs and you also have them um, from the clan if you check here on my system you will see that i already have gcc already installed okay now um by the way this is other the different compilers that target different platform okay for example this um compiler targets the arm embedded processor okay. this if you want to install this particular um compiler you just copy this name here you write pacman pacman backslash with a big s and then you can paste it you can paste it and then you remove this bracket uh, so if i hit the enter button it's going to install this on my system 
okay if you want to search for um, a package from the install package for example because what i just did was i from this from this command this pacman backslash the capital s and the small s and i wrote gcc you just search um, the gcc package right if you want to see if this package is already installed on your system you put the key on, then you put s then you put gcc i think i already have gcc installed on my system i have 11.2 you can also do the same for to see if we have it in our system if you want to know more about the command how to use pacman properly i have a page here you can go through this page this page shows us um, everything how to install a package how to look for a package and also how to uninstall a package if you want to uninstall a package you use pacman with um, a capital arrow right and you can uninstall a package if you want to install a package from a standalone package maybe you have downloaded a package on the internet and you want to install a package it's very easy you write pacman let us say for example in your download folder you have a certain package called example.tar.m whatsoever file extension you have so you are going to run pacman on that folder directory then you write pacman backslash you and then you write the name of the file so pacman is going to install that file then if you want to see pacman tree tree of packages okay you can see i don't have clang on my system pacman backslash big s small s to search right now you write clang it has given us clang from all the um, repository which um, I'm mc2 is using so now it's for you to look the version of clang that you're looking for is very there's so many versions here so which one can i pick let's install this version this one from um this one yeah copy please so this is going to install clang on our system okay after installing that one thing we have to do is we can create our hello world program i want us to compile our example using msvc but this time around on the command line so i want you to head over to your search if you're on windows press your search right you can search for or just search for cmd this is going to come up okay this is x64 x86 right this is um, a cross tool right and uh, this is based on 64 bit so what you have to do is um, run this okay now um go back on your where your where your hello world example is this is our hello world we should copy this path directory and then we head back to our cmd right we just cd on this path directory control v now this is the reason why i said um, it's not always it's not good to always keep space because if you keep space you have to put this in quotes okay but um, that's not the case with our uh, with our path directory so on this part what you can do is you write cl right now you type the name of the file hello world.c it's going to generate our binary file you can see our binary file here then we just write hello world.exe and it's going to execute our program that is it so simple now um in our next video it is advisable for us to add this on our environment part so that we can open our cmd on any directory and we can easily compile our program okay so we go back to our windows we open our mcs um, or mcs2 so, um, we use this linux command known as switch clan you can see our clan is in this directory what we have to do is we have to cd to where um, our hello world is is being located i think this is the directory of our hello world okay so we copy this directory and uh, go back to our okay this okay so um, from here we just write our compiler clan the last version i think that is uh, clan 11 i need to update it because it should be clan 14 okay we can compile our code by using clan hello world dot c then we can ls uh, in this directory you will see something like hello world a.exe okay so this is our executable file so let's run our file by um, writing like a.exe as you can see it was welcome to see program um, we have seen how we can compile our hello world example using the theory compilers we have installed remember this is not just limited to this compiler you can choose any compiler you want okay i have shown you how to install um, compilers using um, mc you can search for xcode i'm not on linux and i don't have no virtual machine on my pc i could show you, you can go to xcode right you just um, download and install xcode on your, your macintosh um, machine but if you're on linux you have i think most linux distribution comes with gcc or clang already installed it now one more thing we have to install is a text edit and my recommendation here is for you to go here and search um, vs code 
right we need a text editor to to edit all of our file because in this course remember we are not going to use any IDE as of now right we are going to use our command line tool okay for now maybe when you're familiar with it you can start using your IDE. What is IDE? IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, right? IDE um, it comes with your compiler and with a lot of um, feature that is um, building your package. So we need a text editor. My recommendation is to download and install VS Code, right? You can install Sublime or any text editor of your choice, or you can just in, um, install Notepad++. MSVC is very, very heavy since it has a lot of um, packages and it's going to slow down your PC. I already have this installed, so you can go ahead and download it and uh, install it so let us open our hello world program which we created using vs code okay so from here we have our include standard input library or as our include um, stdlib let us run our program using gcc compiler and see if it's going to work open our terminal to compile our code right we call the gcc compiler remember you can search for the part where gcc compiler is by writing which gcc okay it's going to give you where the gcc compiler is now i have set this compiler because i'm using qt and qt is using gcc from main gw but you can um use the gcc which you install from my sister on our command line okay what we can do here is we call the gcc compiler we add um, a flag a backslash o, backslash o for the output and then we, we can call our output file hello then we dot slash um, hello world dot c so this is going to compile our program okay that is that's already been compiled then we can run ls to list our directory and then you will see a hello world so what we can do is we can call our program hello world dot exe then this is it is said welcome to our c program it doesn't matter which platform you are if you're on windows linux just install the tools okay the only difference is um msvc is just a microsoft compiler right before i forget i also have um, another tool i always use there is a tool called compiler explorer which uh, maybe i just want to just try out some certain features maybe in a new standard i just want to see out if something um just want to see out how um, certain new features that have been implemented in the c standards how they work so the tools are always you the certain tool i always use called compiler explorer okay the link will be in the description right um this tool is very nice right and I, it turns out i'll be using it um, most often in this course because i don't i wouldn't like to spend a lot of time you know compiling compiling and running code so maybe i just want to quickly show something right so um what we can do here is uh, we can add a new file um i think source file right right right, right. You, change, you can change it from here you can change mc um, here you can write your c program you can maybe include return zero okay executor for this so you see our hello world program here which has been run here then this is the compiler it's been it is used gcc so you can come here and you can change your compiler maybe you can write you can use slow maybe 14 point this right and it's going to compile your program using clang okay this is also a very handy tool i always use okay okay so in the next video we are going to take a thorough look about our hello world program okay and if you have any difficulty that you might face when installing um, your compiler please comment it right so um, in the next video we are going to walk through um, our example and understand how c works so my name is mr cj and i hope this has been informative to you and i will see you next time